Vladimir Potkin, who was uh, Karyakin second in this tournament. Vladimir, how, how did, did the tournament go for you and how are you feeling right now? No, of course, uh, I'm quite happy for Sergei and all this win because the tournament is uh, pretty tough and we were sure uh, before that it will be one of the toughest uh, candidates tournament that um, uh, the winner will not be clear to the end and uh, what happened actually and uh, today's game uh, was actually big fight, so Sergei went for the big game and uh, Karwan also managed to bring some fighting position and uh, we saw big tension and uh, finally in time trouble uh, Fabiano made a huge mistake and uh, he lost. But anyway, I think it was uh, quite under control, so Sergei was about maybe I think, a balanced position. <laughs> So before the game, did you decide with Sergey that you have to go all out or watch Anand's game and decide what is to be done? No, I mean it's uh, quite dubious to play on two boards and uh, you should uh, do your work yourself and uh, we just uh, were trying to focus on our game and uh, see what happens here, just to play chess. You were coming to the tournament hall every day with uh, Sergey. Can you tell us uh, about your role in this tournament? Uh, what were you helping him exactly? Oh, I think it was a uh, role not not only to bring Sergey to tournament hall, yeah, but uh, to help him as long as I can. Yeah, but uh, uh, so you were helping him with the analysis and preparation of openings, yeah? Yeah, and I think uh, it uh, should be admitted also that it's a uh, teamwork, that uh, also it's uh, big efforts from uh, Sergei coaches uh, Yuri Dakhayan and Alexander Botilov that were in the team. And uh, the surprising thing was that before this candidate's event, you were playing in the Aeroflot Open. Uh, were you not, uh, was the preparation not affected because of that? I mean, uh, sometimes you need to play chess to feel how, how it goes. Yeah. So it's, I think it helped me and uh, also helped Sergei. So actually, we found some new ideas. And uh, which one was, according to you, was Sergei's best game in this tournament? I think it uh, was a very good uh, win against Vishanand. So Vishanand is a very great player and uh, to win a game, even a single game against him is already a big result and uh, I think it was a quite nice game. And uh, can you tell us how did you come up with this idea of Queen C2 followed by H4 against Anand? I mean you should prepare something, something new to, to make a surprise, otherwise uh, it will be some kind of boring game. <laughs> and uh, the last thing is, uh, what are your impressions about uh, Karyakin Carlsen match in 2016 November? Oh, of course, uh, Magnus is a great player and uh, all we know he's a real power, but I think um, it will be a very interesting match and a uh, big challenge for Sergei and uh, we are waiting for this match, of course. Thank you so much. Thank you.